starting. Let's open up this packaging. I haven't done a first impressions on a eyeliner yet. Shade I chose is Onyx Rush. And here's what this looks like. Okay, so this is what we have. The packaging is very sleek. It's almost like a rocket. <laughs> I love it. I love how it's so pointy here and pointy here. This honestly reminds me of something that you would get at Sephora, just from the packaging. And this is the product. So this is what we have. So you do get a ton of product. I wonder if you can um, retract this or anything. No, I'm pretty sure this is just the entire product. The lid is nice and secure. If you put it on, it is not going anywhere. I'm shaking it very rigorously and nothing is happening. So that's good. It'll hold up in your makeup collection or if you take it to go. So let's try this product and see what it's actually like on the lid. This has a great point on it. The tip is awesome. I like to just move my lid a bit. I used to stretch my lid very rigorously and be very rough with my eyelids and lower lash line and stuff, which you should not. So I only do it just a little bit. So I'm not putting too much pressure on it, but for me personally, that's just what works for me to put on pencil liner. So let's do this. So the first couple strokes, I'm not seeing a dramatic difference at all. Looks like that. Looks like this. Let's see how well I can point this out. There we are. So it's definitely not as black as I would like it to be. It does apply quite smoothly, but you need a few coats on it. It is precise. Let's see how it holds up in the waterline. Yeah, it did go a little bit, a little bit. There we go. So let's compare. This is the pencil liner I use a lot. This is from Rain Cosmetics. I'm gonna apply the same amount of pressure. So let's start and go down. That was a horrible line, but whatever. And now this one. So let's start and go down. So it is actually a little darker and more defined. Like it gives a better point than my other liner. However, the other liner wasn't sharpened. So I just quickly sharpened it and point down. So it is darker than my average pencil liner, so that is good. It does create a nice effect. I still would prefer just to do liquid liner because I heard people saying this takes the place of liquid liner. I don't feel it's black enough for taking the place of a liquid liner but to each their own. I feel like the point isn't pointed enough to do a perfect cat eye. Like I'm struggling a little bit and it looks a little messy. But it does make it easier to do a cat eye with this. So if you need help with that, this may guide you on the right direction or I would recommend this as a base and then do your liquid liner. That would be perfect. This is a great starter um, pencil mascara if you are learning or wanting to do a winged or cat eye liner. I'm gonna do the other side and be right back. But here is the difference between the two eyelids. So here's the other side and honestly, I am not good at doing wing liner. I am still practicing. Like I always say, like I am not somebody who's a professional. I just am just like you guys. I am somebody who loves makeup and loves to try new things. So even though I have a beauty channel and have a lot of subscribers, I am not that great at doing beauty things. I just love helping people with self-confidence. So I am still a beginner in the cat eye world. I try and I have gotten better. Honestly though, I haven't matched these so well before almost ever with pencil liner. With liquid liner, it's a little bit easy for me to do, easier I should say, but this makes it easier to match and do precisely. I am loving it. Uh, the first few strokes I was like, mer, but then when you start building it up and working with it, it is easy. And the point, I did two different eyes and the point is still strong. That's what I was worried about is it would get dull right away and not easy to work with. I have a ton of different swatches, but this one is the one that we're using right now. Let's build up the product. With no product on a smudger brush, there is no product on here. Let's see how well this smudges out. It does smudge. 
So that's for people who love doing the intense liner. So it does smudge. So there you guys go. It actually goes gorgeous. Like it goes like smoky and you could almost do your whole eyelid in that and smudge it out. I think that would be gorgeous. So there's some options for you guys. I'm in love with that. So there is tons of different ways you could manipulate this. You could do a cat eye. You could just do simple liner. I'm in love. I actually love it. I just wish that it would be a little darker. Other than that, I really like it. Let's remove this with some makeup remover. I'm actually using baby oil. Let's see how well this goes. And it removes with one swipe, we got a lot. And I smudged this out quite a bit. So let's do a few more swipes. So it is easy to take off. So that's good. There you guys go. So I am definitely giving this two big thumbs up. Well, I am actually not gonna wear any mascara for today because I wanna see how this fully works on my face and on my eyes. So I am gonna go out and run some errands. I'm going out for lunch. I'm gonna go tanning. I have a few other things to do in the day. It's 11:12, and I am gonna head out right now. Let's see how well this lasts. Let's give you guys one last little close up here. So this is what we have and we'll see how well it lasts during the day, let's go. It is 10.34 right now, so it is about 12 hours after the fact. I am using my bathroom lighting right now, so it does look a little different, but this is how it looks after almost 12 hours. The only thing that I noticed is right in the inner corner here, it's been faded a bit, but I was scratching my eye a little bit, so that was kind of from me. And in the waterline, we do have some product actually left on, which is amazing, because when I use regular, eyeliner I don't have any at all and this has a good amount on there more of a base I'll be using it for my liquid liner or some days like today when I just wanted a softer look rather than liquid liner but a heavier look rather than just pencil liner it did last all day long so I'm happy about that it didn't flake off or anything it almost is exactly what I went out with there you guys go thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you guys later bye guys what happened to your bunny Gucci I was watching some old videos and saw her but we haven't seen her since I have answered this before but people